You are watching Kings. Every Saturday, we tell the story of how big brands conquered the world. How PlayStation became the king of consoles. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello, Aluxers. It's great to have you here with us today as we're breaking down how PlayStation took over the gaming industry. In this video, we'll be looking at how the company came to be, the strategy they used, the struggles they had to overcome, and if you watch until the end, you'll learn what the future holds for the industry and the king of consoles. PlayStation The Big Picture for a brand that became a reality due to a disagreement, to selling over 500 million units and celebrating 24 years in business is no small feat. This brand could only be PlayStation. Coming from Tokyo, Japan, PlayStation is owned by Sony Interactive Entertainment. With some 2,900 employees, PlayStation generates approximately $550 million annually. This gaming brand is known as the best-selling home console. Its closest competition is that of Xbox and Nintendo Wii. But how was it that PlayStation was able to become such a dominant force in the video game market? The Beginning PlayStation was the brainchild of Ken Kutaragi. From an early age, he was always curious about the inner workings of electronics and earned his electronics degree. Upon leaving school, he immediately began working for Sony in the 1970s. While there, he accepted a position to work on a new sound chip for Nintendo, unknown to Sony, which almost cost him his job if it wasn't for the support from Mr. Norio Oga, the CEO. This led to the creation of two devices, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System and a Sony-branded console that could utilize both SNES CD games and Nintendo cartridges. The combining of these two devices is what resulted in the PlayStation being born. However, the partnership between Nintendo and Sony was short-lived, as there was a dispute over licensing agreements and exactly how the revenue of the product would be shared. Nintendo then opted to work with Philips, a technology and electronics company. The voiding of the partnership led Sony to develop the PlayStation. They created a new financial division called Sony Music to retain control of the project and maintain a working relationship with Philips. The Struggle Sony was left with the task of finding a way to breach the gaming market. They proposed forming an alliance with Sega, but it was immediately rejected. This spurred Sony into completing their console. Even with all their honest efforts, Sony still had to face Nintendo in the US federal court to charges filed against them. Until the 1990s, a federal judge denied all injunctions brought up against them. However, it wasn't until two years later that Sony stopped supporting the Nintendo SNES games with their consoles, officially ending their involvement. PlayStation had to deal with hardware issues, too. Due to a design flaw in early models, ventilation was poor and the console experienced heat buildup, warping the laser mounting. This problem was eventually fixed, but not before gamers figured out that placing the unit upside down would allow the console to work a little bit longer. With the development of CD duplication technology, PlayStation had to find a way to protect their discs from being copied and distributed. Sony modified the wave pattern on the disc so standard pirated discs would not load on the console. However, a group of people thought they were smart and began modifying the console itself with mod chips, allowing pirated discs from any region to play. This led to Sony filing lawsuits against many companies that were found advertising the mod chips and pirated games. Strategy PlayStation was, at first, uncertain of the primary direction they should go, whether 2D or 3D graphics would be best for the console. It wasn't until witnessing the potential of 3D graphics through the success of a game from one of their rivals, Sega, that they focused on 3D gaming. PlayStation marketed their console to 12- to 24-year-olds instead of an older demographic. 
They realized that older gamers responded to advertising directed at teenagers and understandably so, games remind adults of their childhood years. After the launch of their first model to ensure they had a stake in the industry, Sony partnered with over 250 game developers, including Namco, Konami, and Williams. Due to these relationships, Sony was able to provide a wide range of games. Just two years after launching, they had approximately 400 games in development. Around the same time, they had to expand their production facility, increasing the production of their game discs from 4 million to 6.5 million per month. However, gamers weren't PlayStation's only target, as their consoles are also equipped to play audio CDs, and their Asian model played video CDs, giving consumers one unit with multiple entertainment functions. The Defining Moment when PlayStation went on sale in Japan in the 90s, history was made. An incredible 100,000 consoles were sold on the first day, and after six months, PlayStation saw that amount balloon to 2 million units sold. A year later, before it was released in the US, there was already 100,000 pre-orders, and stores could not keep up with demand. By the end of that year, over the span of three months, over 800,000 units were sold in the United States. The Value When we look at PlayStation's current console, the PlayStation 4, we find it costs a total of $381 to manufacture, only $18 short of its retail price of $399. With additional expenses before sending out the consoles, Sony makes a loss on each unit, but because of the low bill of materials and the ever-increasing price of hardware, PlayStation will eventually begin making reasonable profits. Which isn't hard to conceive since the PlayStation 4 sold 1 million units the first day it went on sale. But what makes PlayStation sell 1 million consoles in a day? Is it just a matter of brand loyalty, or is it that they implemented successful marketing tactics? PlayStation realized several key components that have continuously tipped the scale in their favor, even though some of their models took a beating from competitors. PlayStation saw that game consoles were not going extinct, even with the introduction of online gaming and mini consoles. What they did was keep the price of the console competitive, ensured that there was no shortage of consoles, and they created a demand by having longer wait periods between the release of new consoles. There was a seven-year gap between the launch of PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. What they do in the interim is to continuously develop their community of consumers through their social media channels in a way that their message is always easily communicated, ensuring it goes viral throughout the web. Controversy Most recently, PlayStation found themselves in the crosshairs of the Fortnite community when players woke up one morning to their accounts being locked out. Sony had been locking crossplay between their PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One, and PlayStation did not warn players beforehand they would be doing so. Sony's response showed they would not be enabling the crossplay feature and have generally sidestepped the topic, boasting they have a community of over 80 million users on their network who can play against each other on Fortnite along with other game titles. Since the block, Fortnite was downloaded over 2 million times on the competitor Nintendo Switch console. You may not have known this, but Sony Computer Entertainment is one of the top richest gaming companies in the world. If you'd like to see who else is topping the list, check out the top 10 richest gaming companies in the world by clicking in the top right corner. The Results PlayStation's evolution wasn't exactly swift. But each leap was noticeable, especially given the fact it all started from a disagreement. Within a decade of launching its first console, PlayStation set the pace by being the first to ship over 100 million units globally. Then, within a year of the internet becoming mainstream, PlayStation introduced connectivity between two consoles, so players could face off against one another at home. But perhaps the most non-traditional and successful marketing strategy PlayStation deployed was installing its consoles at nightclubs in the UK, giving partygoers a chance to squeeze in some gaming time during their night out. 
This actually is what led to the company having dedicated gaming areas at music festivals and extreme sporting events. It may have been a span of 19 years between the release of PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 4, but a lot happened in that time. For instance, in the early 2000s, they launched the PlayStation 3D Display, which was a 3D television that incorporated the PlayStation 2. It allowed players during 3D multiplayer games to see only their screen through their 3D glasses instead of a split screen. The successor of the PS2, the PlayStation 3, was considered so powerful it was used for medical research purposes. In fact, the Folding at Home project was designed to do research on illnesses such as Alzheimer's disease. Looking at PlayStation, we can actually see how when you feed your curiosity and have a passion for something, with enough effort and dedicated hard work, it can definitely become a reality. The Future being in their eighth generation of video games, PlayStation has made themselves a powerhouse, integrating multiple variables that set the standard for other consoles. Their range of features from visuals, integrated streaming, and social media connectivity give them the tools needed to reach their demographic of customers. And it definitely has been successful. As of January this year, PlayStation announced it surpassed 91.6 million units in sales worldwide. With prices of the PS4 at $350, we're looking at approximately $32 billion. PlayStation has also been enjoying its fair share of collaborations and acquisitions. Last year, they partnered with Nike and NBA All-Star Paul George to release the PG2 PlayStation colorway, which features a special code under the left shoe, which can be redeemed on the PlayStation Store for a Paul George theme for your PS4. Within the last seven years, PlayStation added two subsidiaries under Sony Computer Entertainment Inc. when they acquired Gaikai, a technology company that handles streaming for high-end video games. And most recently, they purchased Audio Kinetic, a leader in interactive audio solutions for the gaming industry. With the PlayStation 4 approaching the end of its life cycle, gamers are ripe with anticipation for the PlayStation 5. However, Sony has been keeping their controllers close to the chest and not showing off their moves. But many people are speculating the release date to be within the next two years. Closing There's this joke about two hunters and a bear, where one hunter is tying his shoelace and the other asks him if he thinks he can outrun a bear. To which the hunter replied, I don't need to outrun the bear, I only need to outrun you. Well, Sony is definitely outrunning their competitors and avoiding the grasp of the bear altogether. Its combination of using the right technology and high-end video games to satisfy their present consumers while attracting new ones has been in perfect sync, ensuring that PlayStation remains the king of consoles. But we're curious to know, which PlayStation console was your favorite, or are you a fan of the Xbox? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, you get a bonus. Here it is. In the 90s, before PlayStation launched in the US, Atari threatened to report Sony to the International Trade Commission if it launched the console for less than $300. According to Atari, it was against the law if Sony sold it to Japanese consumers at an inflated price, then offered the product in the US for $249 and kill the US manufacturers. However, Sony ignored Atari and launched the PlayStation for $299 anyway. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos for you to watch next. As always, the conversation continues on social media. Thanks again, and we can't wait to have you back tomorrow.